And on today's Man of the Apes, I ain't giving mouth to mouth to no monkey. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Minute of the Apes, the daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Ape movies, one minute at a time. I'm Todd, and on this Tuesday, I'm going to say this. I am so proud of Sean. He did a tease that wasn't about poop. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> about it was weird Star Wars Galaxy of the Hero things. He actually made a reference to the movie. Oh Sean, you're such a big boy. Jesus. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> I am so proud of you. It, I don't even know how to, to, to go on any longer. It's Tuesday, and I'm Show, excited. Show's over. It's done. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, it for the week. Bye. The Bye, everybody. Back yep. up. It's, we've been waiting on Sean for that very moment. It only took five and a half movies there for us to get here. You realize that? This is halfway through. Oh, we're more than halfway through. Every minute gets us closer to the end. So I was, I told Sean and Richard, I saw my sister-in-law yesterday. She really didn't know that we'd do this podcast. It's nothing that's going to register with her. And she was like, Planet of the Apes? There are that many movies? And I was like, yeah, and they just wrapped the, the new one. She was like, are you kidding? And I was like, no, it is in the can. And now they're heading off to post. So we've said it so many times before, we're never going to end this Odyssey. Has she, has she watched any of them? I would imagine she's seen something, but she's... Uh, she is not a movie person. That Shelley's family was not raised. They like movies, but they weren't raised like any of us to like love media yeah. like this. And so they don't watch stuff like that. It's not their gig. And I, if, you know, certainly, if it came down to it, and someone said, "Hey, which of the Planet of movies would you watch?" I don't think that the Tim Burton one is ever going to come out. Nope. Of my mouth. No. Well, no. I mean, I, 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 if you ask them, they probably like. Uh... They'd probably no, probably like the original with yeah. Heston would be the one they would remember, mm -hmm. or maybe if they happen to watch one of the modern ones. But otherwise, the, if you ask them, they're like uh, the one with the Statue of Liberty, right? Yeah, I, I, Shelley just a couple of weeks ago was like, "Oh my god!" And I was like, "What?" They're showing all the Planet of the Eight movies today, and I'm like, "Seen them? Already done it? <laughs> Don't need to watch them. Broke them down. <laughs> spent, one minute at a time. Spent six months talking about each one. <laughs> there, it was. I think they were doing. It was Conquest Aww. that was on, and and I actually stopped for about half a second, and I could almost feel the PTSD of breaking it down, and coming back. We said it before. I well, I need that time to close because I do love those original movies and I want to be able to enjoy them again but well, it's still too this early. This one they are showing on cable right now. Are they really? It, yeah, so it'll show up and I'll go, no, 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 no! This one? I saw Rise on... I feel like Michael Scott with, with Toby. No! 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 Yeah. They had the uh, uh, Rise on the other day and I, I really... It was on HBO or something. Uh -huh. I really wanted to watch it. But, but you want to save it too? I thought, you know, I'm the one that kind of tries to be has seen everything all of them right and i thought i still want the newness of watching it saving and it, yeah. it down so anyway we are here on this celebratory tuesday of sean's complete complete ascendancy into adulthood with minute 67 so <laughs> sean right. tell us about minute 67 we start minute 67 with estella warren still worrying and ends with estella warren just looking so much <laughs> looking for her oh my God. i mean estella, estella just looks that's all oh she does all right let's look at estella looking at estella Minute 67, Estella Warren, Planet of the Apes. Now, says who? Says them. They tried to kill me like I was nothing but a, a miserable human.
As of minute 67, we have an overruns worth of apes and humans, two displaced pods worth of humans and apes, wild humans, apes, and he's minus two gorillas, humans on the loose, and now an ape camp. All right. Visually, we get Estella looking very concerned out into the body of water as Leo and Ari struggle through the water. Then we get our um, Asian gentleman playing the ape. Do we have a name for him? Uh, the character, Kroll. no. Uh, well, we Kroll. don't. It has not been officially, officially said, named. But that's what and we know it is. It never is. is named in the movie. You okay. see it in subtitles. He gets up and gives his best dance floor head nod. That's the best I can. He's like, he's dancing a little bit. As he looks out upon them in the water, Ari and, and Leo are fighting so hard. Atar runs up past the people, growls, and in probably one of the weirdest exchanges over a body of water. How, do, two, they, how do they see each other? And What I don't understand is, especially in this where there's a body of water distance, go over the shoulder of one of them just you for a minute so other. I can see that they are looking at each other. Right. It's just weirdly implied well, looking straight to the lens they, back and forth. I know you're recapping everything, but I want to talk about it. Do you, did you see the Shazam movie? The the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember there's a scene where Shazam is like flying, he's in one side of a city and the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he's talking, talking, talking and uh -huh. Shazam goes, I can't hear anything yeah. you're saying. I wanted that here because you can growl. First of all, I, I look this big to you, so you right. don't know that's me over there. That I you're can't growling. see your facial. I can't see it you, but I'm growling at you, and I'm the other guy's growling back. I want that other guy go. What I can't well, hear he, what you're growling. To that point, yeah. why didn't we have Atar like almost really ah! as loud as he can? Yeah. You know, just shoulder shaking, fist pumping, anything like that that would exaggerate what he's doing. It's just this comes off very flat. If mm -hmm. you look at, it's mm -hmm. not personal at all. It, well, they, they, I mean, I mentioned it earlier they were supposed to have longer discussions about who Kroll was to Atar in the script earlier okay. on, which would make more sense why this right. moment is happening. Otherwise, this is out of fucking nowhere. So it's two just apes kind of growling at each other. Exactly. So to r real quickly recap before we move on then we we have lots of shots of the entire ape population on the opposite side of the water gesticulating and going nuts is before our our black gentleman runs in to is he taking the cuffs he's going to put the cuffs back, back on, on. that's what yeah. i thought too it's just yeah. not real clear what he's doing even though i right. think it's implied yeah. because yeah. of it and we get limbo's weird thing where he realizes he's being treated like a human yeah. and that one look paul giamatti gives him i mean that whole moment at, at roughly 40 seconds is just so incredibly flat for, you know, you've basically said the lowliest thing in the world. He's a human. And then we get them, we right. get them running in and basically Ari goes to the ground and spits up water. This, this is also right here. See how small the apes are? Yep. How can you tell who is, who's growling at who? If, if they're, I mean, if I'm growling at anybody over there, how are they going to tell that I'm growling at them specifically? Okay. Yeah, I agreed. And why didn't Atar scream his name? Yeah, then? Like, Atar. Crow! All right, yeah, finish, so. finish the description. We'll come back to sorry, that. Sorry. That's pretty much it. The very end of it is is Ari falling to the ground and spitting up water. I that I find a weird thing because you don't usually carry that much water in you if you're breathing you're and also, you're okay. Yeah, you're not making it, noise. It, if, if he had drowning. done something to get the water out of her pipe, that might have made more sense. Right, but it's out of yeah, it's But she comes up out of the water already coughing, and if right. you're coughing, you you can breathe. That that's the thing, like. Uh, it also goes with choking. If somebody can make a noise, they aren't choking. They, aren't choking. Right. they have kind of obstruction and they're breathing, mm -hmm. but they are not choking. Right. If you're choking, you cannot get air down. Oh, Shelly and I talk about it all the time. She's like, I'm joking. I'm like, no, no you're, you're not. not. You're talking. Just keep clearing your throat. Yeah. It, it's frustrating. It's scary, but you're okay. Yeah. Um, th this may be the minute when I agree with Richard. There's not a lot to talk about because you really, you know, you're getting a lot of shots of Ari and, and Leo in the water falling below the surface, which I, okay. I guess the other people were on horses outside of the black gentleman who apparently fell off his and escorted the horse. Well, to I the, mean, that's why the you had to point. have Ari fall. I mean, uh, Davidson fall off his horse so he could have Ari drowning okay, him okay. instead of him picking up her and putting her on horseback. The, the, the relationship between Dana and Leo is so undefined at this moment that I'm not sure what she's pining for or why we keep flashing to her. Mm -hmm. There's other than the fact that it's just a, uh, an attractive dude. Like there's nothing that to give, give me any sense that he cares for her, that he cares for any Ari, of any yeah. of them really. We know that Ari pines for him, but Dana, I, I, there's no, they haven't done anything to make this relationship make sense. I don't know Dana why she's, just, Dana just likes it. Cause he's strange. She's he's, just, he's something new. I mean, it's, she feels like she's threatened by Ari, but I'm not really sure why. Because I don't, I don't. It's like nothing... they're forcing a love triangle that, that there is no that reason for. That doesn't exist. But I do want to point out. Yes. All right. So, 
I need you to go back to the beginning of this minute. Oh. Oh. There goes the mouse. I really hope that I didn't knock yeah. everything. No, I dropped my mouse and it completely shut my computer it's down, right but it's going. Your, it's right under your chair. Go. Talk. Oh, uh, yeah. You go so back to the I beginning. need you to, as we finish looking on Dana, uh -huh. we're going to see Leo and Ari getting in the water. But I want you to watch the, the apes, apes behind, behind them. them, and I want you to watch <laughs> no. the one that does not know what they're doing. Uh huh. I know exactly. What you're he's talking actually about. the one closest to the water. He's like walking around. Hey guys, what are we doing here now? I'm wa I'm gonna walk around for a second. I'm not running towards anything. Well, not, not only walking. that, but the two behind him who are like trying to pick up the flaming ball for some reason. It is that. Yeah. It is the weirdest. It is the weirdest scene. Like we. This is the our only good take of Leo and Ari getting in the water, and we got apes and muck in the background with a couple of them just like oh, I'm uh, just I'm an extra. I, am you I getting paid for this? He farted and he wants to make sure nobody heard him. Is that what it is? <laughs> it is? It is just the weirdest. Like, I'm just going to, I, he I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do now. I'm going to go over here now. And it's just two seconds, but it cracks me up. What's, what? Uh, I mean, so many of the ape, oh, even though, okay, in that I, same shot, yeah, the, the, the two one that trying are to pick it up. <laughs> well, the, the two that are, you're like, what do we do with this ball now? The two that are descending down, uh -huh. are they literally. In step with each other. Look at it that. It might be. It's almost like a. If you go back and forth, yeah. it's almost like a little dance. Do 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 do. It was. It was. It's. This is a poorly done. I mean. Well, yeah. I just like the fact that it's frustrating. The fact that Atar can hit that horse with accuracy, but nobody can hit anything else. Atar. It's my. It's much my cornhole comment. And there's they, they, these. Well, I mean, it's 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 a. Uh, it's a. Uh, Roger, Roger. I mean, it's just the the, yeah, the when you're here, your heroes, your heroes yeah. can't get hit, even no matter how accurate your right. droids or or um, troopers are, they're just going to magically miss every single time. So the the Kate, uh, the Atar Kroll is it Kroll like Kroll. The, like the movie like Kroll Kroll yeah. yeah. It would have benefited from as a as Atar walks towards the thing the uh, the shoreline. Uh huh. If Curl had done the same thing, like had walked past the people, we'd had this moment of them coming together and then over his shoulder. You might have been able to forgive the distance yeah. if we simply said they closed the gap visually. But it, as I'm scrolling through this again, it's the same thing as when I watched the minute originally. It makes no fucking sense. It just, it's the weirdest little exchange of, rah, rah, rah. we don't like each other. And I guess that's all they're going to do to develop the fact that these two have some some history. type of history. Yeah, I, they they also kind of uh, ADR Ari like whimpering the entire time they're going across the water. Yeah. It's a little distracting. Well, even at the end, they loop the sound of her coughing up water twice. Like go go back to the end when they get out of the water. Okay. And if you listen, they loop the audio of her coughing and everything. Up. All right, let's take a listen to that. Right. Hang on, I think I've got it. I've got it roughly at forty five seconds. <laughs> this okay is that also the most orgasmic coughing and coming <laughs> to have air in your life as she looks at him it is i don't know if i'm now looking well, for those the, weird moments when they're trying to connect to them he didn't do anything i to mean say it, it, it looked like he she was like are you going to kiss me you're going to give me mouth to mouth you yeah. gonna, i mean the way that very strange look yeah well and it it, it the thing that I find comedic is he doesn't like do anything. Reconnect he just, with her. He walks what, away. He looks up with a concern. She spits up her water. He looks at that she's okay, and then he just walks fucking off. Everybody and else lets can take Krull care of And yeah. the servant come over and take care of her. Yeah. Typical like, man. But it was just kind of a weird. Like his walk off is so like I. Uh, I'm done. All right, off. fine. I saved you. He he's just a dick. I don't I don't know why he saved her. I don't know why he did any of these things. Like I just don't know his motivation for helping these people at all. Yeah. And it's so funny that I don't know that we've ever had a minute that started with the shot that is inarguably the same shot as the, first, the, beginning. the beginning and the end, uh, except that the angle on Estella, it's slightly probably done different. in the same same setup, but they slightly change it, and the lighting is different from flame to no flame. But it's... Well, I mean, it's... Why, did, why didn't she rush over? It's the same location. I why mean, is she yeah, just now... I, I watched them run over of concern. They right. got over there. The two servants run over. I'm just going to look to the right like she I'm don't watching give a this shit about unfold Ari. itself. She, I get it, but she should have walked run over to Leo at that. But this... with I mean, maybe... She only minute, cares but. when it's convenient. Let's just be very honest. That's all it is. <laughs> okay. I, she only can, can cares when she can get her dick wet. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness! I, I think the air has been taken from my lungs. Right, Sean, are you gonna come give minute? me mouth to mouth? <coughs> <coughs> Only if you look at me sexy, Ari. 
All right, that's minute 67. I don't you think we can go anywhere. We're done with this minute. <laughs> I, 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 I checked out it. I checked out at least a minute ago. <laughs> that's it. We're going to wrap it. Everyone have a great day. Bye. Bye, everybody. Oh,